man goes on a JetBlue flight. He's got a buddy pass, and he's uh, it's one of those passes where you get to ride on the plane, but it's because you know somebody in JetBlue. It's not an exactly like a, a normal airplane ticket. Uh, anyway, he gets on there, and the flight attendant is apparently using the, his, what they call a jump seat, and it's making her uncomfortable. And so she asks, hey, can you go ahead and get up from your seat, and I want it. And he says, well, okay, well, where should I sit? And, well, you can't sit in the jump seat because that's for only employees. Uh, and they get into a disagreement about it. The pilot comes out and says, hey, look, I got a great idea. Uh, why don't you sit in the toilet? The guy's like, are you kidding? He's like, no, I'm not kidding. I'm the pilot of this plane, and I'm telling you, you're to sit in the toilet for three hours while the lady sits in your uh, seat, uh, the flight attendant does. Now, if this story is true, that's a really profoundly stupid thing to do. Okay, I don't care how uncomfortable she is in the jump seat. I don't care what the situation is. You, and I don't care what kind of ticket the guy had or didn't have. doesn't matter. The guy's on the plane, and you can't make him sit on the toilet for three hours. That's insane, right? And he doesn't have a uh, seatbelt, et cetera, and so, you know, there's some turbulence. Nothing wrong happens, right? And in the end, it's not like, you know, it killed him. He sat on the toilet for three hours, and then they came out, and then they had him seat in his regular seat. They landed, and it was fine. Uh, so the guy involved, his name is Gökhan Mutlu. I was like, ah, oh, here we go. He's Turkish. Okay. And ironically, his last name means happy. But he didn't seem very happy uh, in this case. Gök Han, by the way, Gök means sky. Han uh, is sometimes uh, interpreted as king. So he could actually be the king. His real name is King of the Skies, Happy, which is exactly the opposite of what happened here, which is awesome. Anyway, so he goes from being right to being wrong. Why? He sued JetBlue for $2 million. Do you have any idea how long I'd sit on a toilet seat to make $2 million? Like, it's one thing to go to JetBlue and say, hey, listen, you owe me a ticket or something. I mean, this is crazy, right? Or you owe me a couple of tickets back and forth between, you know, uh, cross-country trips or something. Because this is, or, or to complain to management and say this isn't right. $2 million? I don't know. How many would I do? Would I do 20 cross-country trips on a toilet seat? Would I do 100? Would I do 200? I probably would do 200 cross-country trips in a row if you gave me food and et cetera to make $2 million. What are we talking about there combined? Let's say that it's, it's six hours each way. It's 12 hours times 200. I don't know, but I'd do it, man. $2 million is a lot of money. We we're supposed to give you $2 million for sitting on a toilet seat for three hours. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Go be Gurkhan Mutlu somewhere else. Okay, that's not, that's crazy.